All right. So let's just settle into a comfortable seated position. So some of you are sitting in a cross-legged position, I can kind of see, and some of you are already just sitting at a at your desk uh, with your feet, legs down. So bring your attention to the soles of the feet. So if you are sitting in the regular meditation um, posture, you can maybe just bring your hands down there and just kind of squeeze the soles of your feet so you have that sort of a connection with them. Everybody else with your feet down, just try and feel the connection between your feet and the floor, soles of the feet, the pinky mound, the big toe mound, and the outside of the foot. And then just press, you can just press your toe pads into the ground. And then knees slightly. Uh, maybe a foot's hips width apart, shoulders are aligned with the hips, and just really make sure you're sitting on top of your sits bones. Now you can have your hands in a comfortable position in your lap, the regular meditation position in this particular lineage is to have the right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. That's not particularly comfortable for you or it feels awkward, just Put your hands wherever it works. And now the shoulders are aligned with the hips and imagine also the ears are as much as you can just kind of gliding up and back in line with the shoulders. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. So really try and Lengthen your spine. Just get putting some space in between those vertebrae. And then relax the top of the head, the crown, or the, the scalp around that area. And the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, the jaw, back of the head. Relax the temples, back of the tongue. Go back to the jaw, just release the jaw. If you want, you can just stick your tongue out. Just allow it to, ah, it does release a little bit of tension. Then relax the back of the neck and allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to drop down. Relax the throat the chest, the belly, and all of your limbs. Don't forget your fingers and toes. And just notice if you're moving them. Try and keep them still. And just check the breath. And notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. Slightly warmer as you're Exhaling, slightly cooler as you inhale. And for the time being, just notice it, the air flowing in and out of the nostrils. And be aware of any sounds in your environment. Just allow those sounds to be there. Try not to follow them with the mind. We so love to be distracted. And then notice what thoughts might be arising. Perhaps there's some memories from a week ago or 10 years ago or just from conversations you've had today. You could be seeing images, remembering conversations, emails. And it's a lot of information that we have in our, in our heads. We spend a huge amount of time there. So one way to sort of put some space in between our thoughts is to categorize our thoughts. 
So you could say something like, I'm thinking. That's the broadest category. You can also say something like, uh, this is a memory, or I'm planning, or I'm worrying about something that I have no idea whether it's even true. Some future story. So just, just check what's going on in the mind and take a step back from the thoughts and just observe. We can put ourselves on the bank of a river. Just watch that river flow on by. And just notice that while you're sitting on the bank, you're free on the river. So we'll do this meditation this evening. We're going to bring to mind some people, the people of our life. So start with your dear, loved, beloved friends and spouses and children, people you have profound and deep relationships with. Sometimes we just don't even appreciate how precious these people are in our life, what they bring to our life. And then there's your people, there's some people in our life that we find irritating. Maybe they've harmed you. And then there's your strangers. They can all change place at any time, these relationships, and they may have done so for you. And then think they're all equal. They all have this wish to be happy, this wish to be free from suffering and in having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So I think we'll do this meditation this evening for all these people of our life and by extension, all sentient beings. And again, we're not seeing our dear Hin. So many strong prayers for her to be at least, the very least, free from pain. So she can just focus on her practices. So think there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is basically a psychological one. And we're creating negativity with our mind, so we can change that by uh, creating positivity instead. So we're working with our mind. And because of neuroplasticity, because of the mind, the brain, we are actually able to control what goes on in there. So we start with the power of regret. This is different to guilt. This is like a little bit like taking responsibility. And it implies that we want to do something. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all of our past lives. And you can think of specific actions of both your body and your speech. And then in general, regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logical karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. And so having harmed others, we ourselves are going to necessarily experience suffering in the future. So maybe we want to we maybe we don't want to do that. So perhaps it makes sense to pull out these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering, and also regret any anger, attachment, and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others. And think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. We rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. So here we have our, our beautiful Vajrasattva image. So this is just a painting on canvas. So what we're imagining here instead is, is a light body, sort of almost like a hologram radiating light made of light and it's above the crown of your head a couple of inches above the crown of your head and you can make this image as large or as small as you wish you can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher if you have a teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit so you can uh, just imagine this buddha vajrasattva 
has um, is sitting in a cross-legged position. There's a beautiful smile on his face. He's accepting you exactly as you are turning up this evening. No matter what's going on, everything's okay. And so he's accepting you without any critical thought. As a um, His eyes are shaped like lotus petals and they're peaceful. And they're full of love and compassion. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion, and there being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So we have just a little section on developing compassion here, and compassion is the wish for someone to be free from suffering. So think of people that you have harmed and the people who have harmed you and just have a wish for them to be free from suffering. And then we come to the power of the remedy. And this is the medicine, doing the practice of purification. And we start with the body. And Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming out of a hose, quite forcefully from his heart, and it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sava Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hom Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hom Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dida me boa sitokaya me boa sipokaya me boa Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dida me boa sitokaya me boa sipokaya me boa Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dida me boa sitokaya me boa sipokaya me boa Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dida me boa sitokaya me boa sipokaya me boa Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dida me boa sitokaya me boa sipokaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa sidi mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum Pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. And next is the purification of your speech. And imagine Vajrasapa very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and this arcs around and forcefully enters your crown 
and fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, which overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and useless speech and lying, talking badly about others behind their backs, getting other people to agree with you. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mimutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anurakta me boa, sawa siddhi me bi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shayam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, and bhajasapa samaya manupalaya bhajasapa dina patita, dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anurakta me boa, sawa siddhi me bi yata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe And Bhajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Me Bawa Sitokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe and Bajasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajasapha Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sitokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Pi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Me Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe And Bajasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajasapha Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sitokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta me boa, sawa siddhi me pi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan, sawa tata gata vajra me mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, and bhajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anurakta me boa, sawa siddhi me pi yata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. And this includes what you write. And this also includes what yourself, because you will be listening to your own voice and reading what it is you're writing. So next is the purification of the mind, and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra, and this kind of arcs around and enters your crown and pours into you and fills your entire being. So just the same as when you walk into a room that's dark and you flick on the switch, the light dispels the darkness instantly. So just as, imagine the same things happening here. The light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart and all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, attachment, neediness, depression, anxiety, bitterness, grudges, all of this instantly dispelled, not one atom left. Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sitokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sitokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta me boa, sawa siddhi me pi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan, sawa tata gata vajra mami mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, and bhajrasapha samaya manupalaya bhajrasapha dina patita, dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, 
Anu rectum me bo a sabo sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me sitam shiyam koru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa mahasa maya sata a hum pe an bajra sapa samaya manupalaya bajra sapa dina patita dida me bo a sito kaya me bo a sipo kaya me bo a anu rectum me bo a sawa sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida me bawa sito kaya me bawa sipo kaya me bawa anorekta me bawa sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapadina patita dhidu mebo wa sitokaya mebo wa sipokaya mebo wa anorekta mebo wa sawa sidi mepiyato sawa kama sita me sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe an bhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapadina patita dhidu mebo wa sitokaya mebo wa sipokaya mebo wa anorekta mebo wa sawa sidi mepiyato sawa kama sita me sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe an bhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapadina patita dhidu mebo wa sitokaya mebo wa sipokaya mebo wa Anorekta me bo a sawa sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, imagine they're gone, completely purified. And think now there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the imprints, purifying the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. And you imagine Vajrasapa very, again, compassionately, very happily, sends light and nectar. And this fills you completely and eradicates just the very subtlest imprints of negative energy from the mind. Vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira me bowa sitokaya me bowa sipokaya me bowa anorekta me bowa sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bowa maha samaya sata a hum pe Vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita Dhidu me bo wa, sito kaya me bo wa, sipo kaya me bo wa, anu rekta me bo wa, sawa sidi me pi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an, sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, an bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya bhajra sapa dina patita, dhidu me bo wa, sito kaya me bo wa, sipo kaya me bo wa, Anu rekta me bo a sawa sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya bhajra sapa dina patita. Dhidu me bo a sito kaya me bo a sipo kaya me bo a. Anu rekta me bo a sawa sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya bhajra sapa dina patita. Dhidu me bo a sito kaya me bo a sipo kaya me bo a. Anorekta me bo a sawa sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dhidu me bo a sito kaya me bo a sipo kaya me bo a. Anorekta me bo a sawa sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dhidu me bo a sito kaya me bo a sipo kaya me bo a. Anorekta me bo a sawa sidi min piyato sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam karu hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So now feel completely purified. There's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment 
have been removed. And next is the power of resolve. And this is the fourth and final step in the purification process. And this is this determination to not harm with our body and our speech and our mind. So to think about refraining from harming. And, you know, without this decision, without making a decision, without this aspiration, we're just going to keep doing the same old stuff over and over again, whether it's with our speech or eating too much sugar or whatever it is we do that's harmful for ourselves and others, start thinking about refraining from doing that. So if you can only do it for a minute or overnight while you're sleeping or even five seconds, so set yourself a reasonable timeline, think about something you'd like to work on and maybe journal your progress or what it is you're working on and just see how that feels. So this determination to not do again or to refrain from doing or to even think about refraining from doing is it's what gives us the strength to change. It just kind of becomes like a beacon that guides our body and our speech and our mind in new directions. So imagine Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and you can think my teacher's body, speech, and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind are the same. It just kind of merges. So then our little bit about emptiness, you can think in emptiness there is no I, the creative negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, just place your mind there for a little while. We can think of all phenomena as being empty. They don't exist from their own side. You can also think that the way things are appearing to me right now might not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created doing this practice to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And so if any of you do have His Holiness the Dalai Lama as a teacher, just make a strong wish in your heart, dedicate for his long life and for also the swift return of Lama Zoparimashe and then for any of your own teachers. And like I've been saying, even your kindergarten teacher, wish for them to have a long life if they're still alive because they taught you the alphabet. And in Tibetan Buddhism, the person who taught you the alphabet is your main teacher because they've taught you how to read so therefore you can read the dharma and get benefit from it that's how they think it's very sweet okay lots of love everybody good night thank you for hosting michael and shayla and everyone and i will see you tomorrow morning we're going to do tara okay good night everybody thank you bye thank you ben